Hi, this video is the second part of a series of techniques to build filter-proofed calculation in Oracle Analytics. If you're interested in the first video, it's commented below. So previously we saw how we could do this in self-service analytics by duplicating a data set, joining it in a way that didn't pass filter and using a data set A for the numerator and data set B for the denominator. And you can see data set B has the total value here in every cell. And the ratio A divided by B shows me the real percentage. And when I filter on a different product category, the percentage keeps showing divided by the total number, total sales B. So that's what we achieved in the first part and it's working fine. But what if I wanted to say, I want to see this percentage of total sales, but I want it by year. So what if I filter by year here? Let's pick 2014, for example. So when I do this, I can see that it still divides by 8.5 million, which is the whole history of sales. It does not restrain this to only 2014, and it behaves exactly the same as when I select a product category. It keeps dividing by the total amount, 8.5 million, and that's how we have set up the join. But my use case is I would like that percentage to still be influenced by the year filter. How can I achieve this? Well, you remember we had this dummy column join. All I have to do here is to add another match on order date in this case, because that's my time dimension. Click OK, let the system process this. Let's go back to visualize. And there, let's start fresh. So let's now filter on a year. And we're hoping that this 8.5 million at the bottom is also changing. And here we go. It shows 2 million here, both in denominator and numerator. So if I filter by a product category now, you see that we still have 2 million as a denominator and 764K as a numerator. So the product category technology represented 38% of 2015 sales. So the data set B was filtered on year, but not filtered on product category and hence the calculation worked fine. As I click around removing and adding multiple values here, you can see that the denominator value 2 million total sales B remains the same. That's the total for 2015. This modeling technique can be applied to multiple dimensions that we want data set B to be filtered by. All I have to do is add them into another match in my joining. Let's say order priority here. Let's say we want the denominator to also be filtered by order priority and year. So I'm just adding this to the join list. And when I add order priority as a filter now, let me first remove the filters we have for product, product category just to make it simpler. So let's bring order priority from data set A here as a filter. And when I filter by it, let's select I for instance, we can see that total sales B, the denominator, also gets filtered by this. So this is filtered by year and by order priority, but not by technology product category. That amount, 521 here, remains the same. So what we have achieved here is a calculation that only obeys to selected filtered, but not all of them. So this can be functionally very handy, and it's pretty simple to model with OAC. Thanks for your time watching this video.